Welcome to the new McNaught MX range of flow meters. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and inspect the internal components and reassemble. So you can see here we have three different sizes. The MX, they're all the same design but just differ in the physical size. The middle one we'll work on today and it has the compact pulse cap on it. To remove the, any of the electronics that are on this flow meter, it's called a quarter turn or the M-lock um, system and it's just a matter of quarter turn anti-clockwise and you can easily remove the electronics. This, expo this exposes the cam that is underneath in the main part of the M-lock system and to inspect this we need to remove a circlip that, hold, that retains it and this is done by using a pair of circlip pliers remove the circlip and the actual cam will just remove out of the meter body now you can see there's a, a little hole and there's actually a pin on the cam and that locates that cam in that position now this might need to be cleaned out maybe some solutions have crystallized in there dust may have got in there something that may jam up the electronics or your registers so we just pull it out give it a clean and then just put it back in and this is done by just getting a pair of circlip pliers grabbing hold of the circlip putting it back into the meter body and that's all ready to go so that's all in nice and tight and inspected the second part is to turn the meter body over and this will expose the eight bolts that hold the meter together. Now to disassemble, we need to loosen the bolts and we generally do this in a cross uh, pattern. So we'll undo one and we should really do them in a, a cross pattern so that it comes out evenly. Now these bolts are loose just so that I can show on the video. So we just do a crisscross to remove all the bolts and this will expose the internal parts of the flow meter. Make sure you put the bolts in a, an area that is uh, easy to get to so you don't lose any. Then once those bolts are out, this will allow us to remove the meter cap like so. Now this exposes, we have a seal that seals the unit. We have two rotor shafts, two rotors and the actual meter body. So it's a good idea to make a note or use a pen to mark the rotors and where they sit now on the new MX range we have what's called a dimple and there's a little dimple that's just at the top of there. There's a little dimple that's at the top there and this signifies where the active rotor sits and the active rotor has what's called a dimple on the top of the rotor and that those three dimples must go together when we reassemble. So that's our active rotor with the magnets in it and that goes with the magnets down. So what we'll do is we'll remove our two rotors. We need to physically inspect them and make sure that there's no damage at all to them. There's no missing teeth, nothing jammed in the actual rotors themselves. They all look okay. So we'll just put them, so I like to put them in the position that they come out. So they'll go like that. The MX range, you can pull the rotor shafts out, and that's one good uh, option with this meter, is that we can replace the, motor, the rotor shafts. We check them for any galling, any chips, any damage to them that will reduce or stop the rotors from turning. They all look nice and clean. And then we can pull out our seal, being very, very gently not to cut or damage it. 
We inspect that for any damage, any grease, any gunk that might be stuck in the groove. Make sure that everything's all right. It's a matter of just physically having a look to make sure that there's no sharp edges in there, that there's nothing stuck in there, no damage to the actual meter body. This one all looks okay. Now to reassemble the flow meter, we need to start by replacing the shafts into the flow meter. We put them in, make sure they're all okay. Then there are two rotor types and we have the active and the neutral rotor. And as I mentioned before, the active rotor has a dimple, the neutral rotor doesn't, the active rotor has magnets in and the neutral rotor doesn't. So what we need to do is it goes with the magnets or the dimple down and that gets put on the top. So the dimple on the rotor, dimple on the housing, dimple on the cap. Our neutral rotor goes in the same position and then they will be able to turn nice and free. Next thing we do is we replace our seal that just sits in that groove there. The next thing we do is we check our meter cap. We have our dimple at the top. That needs to go on the dimple on the housing. And that goes down. And that all just sits there like that. We replace all our eight bolts. Now it's very critical that these eight bolts are tightened down to the correct torque and the correct uh, position or the crisscross, we call it, way of doing the tightening. So what I'll do is I'll just use my Allen key just to get them down to the, to the seat. And that's just using no tension at all, just getting them down so that they sit in the bottom of the, the groove. Now it's very important that a tension wrench is used to, to torque these down to the setting that is described in the manual. Now each flow meter will have a different tension setting that the bolts will need to be torqued down to. And the torque is done by using a crisscross matter. So it will be starting at one, click, and going to the one in the opposite side. And we tighten that down until it clicks, and then we go to the cross pattern. So it's a matter of just going through to all the eight bolts in a crisscross matter until it clicks, and then click, and then we start back here. We tighten them down till they all click, 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 click. click. So that's the eight bolts all tightened down to the set torque as in the instruction manual. And then the last thing to do is to just make sure that those rotors turn nice and free, which they do. And that's by putting your finger in the inlet port and just rotate them around. Now, there is four different options of the displays or registers or the proximity that goes in them. So as with all of them, it's a quarter turn M-lock system, and it's just a matter of put your electronics back on, 